All right, so once you've uploaded your template and the analysis is done, you can proceed to create the Plenty template. And you can do that by clicking here on the Add New button and then selecting the rendering composition. Um, in my case, that's gonna be the render story and then just give your template a name. And this is where the magic happens. So plainly parsed your whole rendering composition and it didn't just look at the top level composition, it actually went into all of the pre-compositions and found all of the layers that are in those pre-compositions. And inside of this window, we will be creating the dynamic layers. So the layers that can be dynamic or the layers that can change with every render are text layers, image layers, video layers, audio layers, and color layers. So in order to create a dynamic layer, all we have to do is you have to find your, find your layer inside of this list. And let's say we wanna do that for this layer, which um, on the left hand side here, you can see the layer name underneath. You can see where is this layer located inside of this composition. And on the right hand side here, you can see the current value of this layer. So let's say we want to make this layer dynamic. All I have to do is click on the layer and then this window will pop up. And now you have two options. The first one is to make the layer static. So for example, if you want to keep this layer always the same value, you can do this by adding this value here. But in most cases, you will be making the layer dynamic. And then you have a few options here to fill out. The first two fields are required, the rest of them are optional. Um, and all you have to do is you need to add the name, the, the parameter name and the display name to your layers. The display name is actually the name that you will be seeing in the render forms and the parameter name is the name that you will be providing when calling the API. You can just keep both of these the same. So let's say we want to do this. Let's say we want to make this product name and then product name. There is also a scripting option here, which is something that I will cover in another video. But basically, once you've added this, the display name and the parameter name, you're set to go. You can also give your layer a default value for cases where you don't actually provide the data, but you want to keep this layer um, a certain value. And you can also make this layer mandatory, which will make the render request fail if you don't provide this layer. So once I've added my display name, my parameter name, I can just click save and that's it. I just created a um, dynamic layer. So in order to create um, the rest of the dynamic layers, all you have to do is go through your layer list, find the layers you want to make dynamic, and then just go through the same uh, steps as I showed you. It doesn't really matter if you're creating a dynamic text layer or a dynamic image layer, the steps are always the same. So find your layer, make it dynamic, give it a display name, give it a parameter name, and then click save. So just go through your whole list of layers, um, find the ones you want to make dynamic, and then click save. And that's it. You now created your plain template and you can proceed to render videos.